Yo, what up, though? It's your boy, DME. All right, boys, I wasn't even going to do this, but I'm at Arby's. I'm at Arby's. I'm at Arby's. And I'm at the uh, the drive-thru, and I got me a uh, chicken bacon Swiss. You know, I haven't had one of those in a minute. Yeah, and, and I got me a beef and cheddar. That's for later. Man. But uh, the curly fries with the, with, the, with the cheese dip, man. I miss Arby's, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. But they're like, it's going to be a six-minute wait on the chicken. So, uh, man, I woke up today, man, and... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm waiting on the chicken. Can you pull up to that? Pull up. You, you got it, yeah. You got it. I'm going to pull up. We're going to pull up. Pull up! Anyways. Uh, they're like six minute wait on the chicken. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm going to wait. So we're going to rock this out. Man, I woke up and um, throw YouTube on real quick. And three letter man I literally just posted a video. I had not even been on Twitter yet talking about RIP um, Mean Gene, man. Mean Gene Oakland. Man, that's my guy, man. Mean Gene was my guy, man. That guy, man, one of the classic, classic characters uh, of all time, man, in wrestling. Just of all time, period, you know what I mean? That guy, dude, man, oh, uh, man, he was the best, man. This is what I'm talking about, man. He he, he he, understood. He got it. He knew how to promote. He knew how to talk. He knew, he knew everything. He was that guy, dude, and uh, it's just sad, man, you know. I seen Tony Schiavone tweet. Now, you remember Tony Schiavone from WCW? Um, you know, everybody's talking about it. You know, he... It's just crazy, man. You know, I, everybody know. I'm, I was a big wrestling fan. I don't really watch it anymore now. Like, uh, I go through my. I've gone through my phases throughout my life watching wrestling. Um, been, you know, uh, the first time I remember a any wrestling probably was uh, Saturday night's main event. Used to come on on Saturday night uh, about eleven thirty. I think instead of playing Saturday Night Live at like once a month, they would have Saturday night's main event. Um, and my first remember, my first memory of wrestling was when um, King Kong Bundy uh, broke Hulk Hogan's ribs. Remember, he did the uh, it was right before WrestleMania two, and they did, he did the slam on him a couple times, and they were like, "Oh my God, the ribs they're broken, they're broken!" Right? <laughs> I used to think it was real, man. I thought wrestling was real. And when when my uncles and stuff would tell me it's fake, I used to get mad. I'm like, "Shut up! You're lying! You're stupid!" I guess I was stupid. <laughs> Whatever, man. It looked real to me. It looked real to me. But uh, especially W, or not WCW, NWA. NWA seemed real, man. Um, and then I, it wasn't my uncles and them telling me it was fake that made me realize it was fake. Well, because I didn't believe them. I thought they were hated. It, when I, I realized it was fake, when I literally I, I got a, 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 VH, a VHS tape of Hulk Hogan's like best matches and stuff. It's called Hawkamania something. Maybe Hawkamania. It was like they were numbered. Maybe it was like Hawkamania two or three. And I would when, I, when you watch all those consent when you watch them all together, and then you see Hulk Hogan literally do the same thing in every match where every match is happening, and then every match he would do, he would hawk up and and I was like, oh, that's not real. This is not real. When you watch them all together like that back to back, you're like, oh, I don't know, man. I was like, yeah, it's probably fake, right? But anyways, yeah, and then I remember, uh, if any of you guys remember, R WrestleMania 2 um, was the first pay-per-view I ever seen, and that was played on uh, Showtime. It was on, like, uh, like you know, HBO and Showtime, and, 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 and they played it like a movie, and they just kept replaying, you know, like it was a movie. So I, I watched that like a thousand times. That was the one that was in three different cities. You had um, Roddy Piper versus uh, Mr. T. You had Roddy Piper and Mr. T in that fake boxing match. And, um, you know, uh, that was in one city. And then they had the Battle Royal uh, with the Chicago Bears and, and Andre the Giant. And then Hulk Hogan battled, uh, battled. <laughs> Hulk Hogan fought uh, King Kong Bundy and then the Steel Cage match in L.A. in their main event. And then I remember he had, uh, uh, I think it was King Kong Bundy had the razor and I seen him cut himself. That was funny. All right, thank you. Thank you. So, um, anyways, man. Shout out to Mean Gene, man. Oh, that was fast. That wasn't even as long as I thought. But shout out to Mean Gene, man. That guy, man, he was the, one of the most entertaining dudes. He was, uh, wasn't like, he, 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 I know he commentated a little bit, but that wasn't what he was famous for. He was famous for his interviews, man. He gave the best interviews, man. And, and he was the perfect guy to do those interviews with those, with those, um, with those uh, personalities at the time. You talk about Macho Man and. Iron Sheik and Hogan. These guys were crazy. They were literally crazy. They were bigger than life, man. 
They were literally bigger than life. It, it was, 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 it was an amazing time, which will never be du replicated or duplicated. You just, you can't, you can't do it, man. It's, it's just one of them deals, man, where these were special people, man, and they, they, they put on, man, they entertained us for years, and, uh, you know, Mean Gene, he ended up going to WCW, and he, he kind of gave them a little bit of cred, credibility, because when you got Mean Gene there, you know, especially when, when you know, Bobby the Brain, he didn't, we all know Bobby the Brain, you know, he ended up getting sick and stuff, shout out to him too, man, but, uh, man, oh man, I guess we're getting old, we're getting old, man, what are you gonna do, man, what are you gonna do, life, life, life goes on. Uh, we all, we all gonna, it's, it's all gonna be our day one day. I know he was in his 70s, so you know, he lived a long life, man. He lived a long life. I didn't know he was sick or anything. I feel like I just seen him, like, recently, but what ups, man? What are you gonna do? Shout out to Mean Gene. Shout out to, to everybody, man. That's what's up, man. But got my food, man. I'm out of here. Love you guys. Peace.